Welcome to the WAC Report. I'm Kendra Sheehan. We have a special guest joining us today, Seattle U Women's Soccer head coach, Julie Woodward. And coach, the team is off to a hot start, 3-1-1 one and one on a win streak of two matches. What's been working for this team this week in terms of just finding ways to get into the win column? I, I would say one of the biggest strengths of our team this year to date has just been the depth of our team. And, you know, I keep repeating it to all of the players are probably getting tired of me saying that, but we've had different starting lineups, you know, from game to game. We have multiple players playing lots of minutes. And um, I think that's kind of been the key is, is the depth for us, especially on those two game weekends when you have two pretty tough, challenging games. Absolutely. Depth is so important. And with this veteran group, where do you think the ceiling is for this team come conference tournament time with the experience on the roster? Well, I would say, you know, I always tell the team to, you know, keep their highs low and their lows high. And we, we are coming off a two win weekend. We realize it's a long season. We recognize that the conference tournament and our conference opponents, you know, are, are so, so strong, incredibly strong. It's always a, a good matchup. I would say, um, you know, consistency for us is probably going to be really important in staying healthy. And we're just really fortunate now for the most part that we have a very healthy group and we're deep, as I told you. And we got a handful of players back last year who had suffered season ending injuries and they're all really contributing so far this year. We had our sub above goalkeeper of the week and it was awarded to Cassidy Kurgan for two shutouts this past week. Yeah. What separates her from the other goalkeepers in allowing her to just produce two clean sheets? she's a special one Cassidy is I mean she's competitive she gets better not just every year I think she gets better every practice she has an extremely high work ethic and um as incredible as she is I will also have to give a nod to the back line that is playing in front of her in addition to that you know we're led by our senior captain Kate Raffensperger and she has just been unbelievable this year and and then you know if you have someone like her and you have Cassidy behind you it kind of makes for a, a pretty good situation yeah as a former goalkeeper I know that having a strong four defensive mm -hmm. line in front of you can make your job so much easier when you look at on the other side of the ball with Bella and Marla both with two goals apiece on the season leading your team what makes them so dynamic in that attacking third you know, it's having Bella back this year has been really, really special because she, I mean, she's pretty great in the air defensively, but she also has the ability to score goals for us offensively. And, and, you know, Marla's just really coming along. She's in our second year with the program as well. And, you know, talking about the depth, I'm sure you can continue to look. And then we have Caroline Penner who can score goals. We know Ui Kaihui, who has a goal, was a freshman in the year a couple of years ago, sat out last year, can score goals. We have Hallie Bergford, a fifth year senior who can score goals. We have Brooke Wilson who sat out last year. I, I think she might be in her seventh year who can score goals. And um, we just have a lot of special, special offensive players. And it's nice because I feel like it makes us a really dangerous team in terms of, you know, when we're playing, I think our opponent might be saying, okay, who do we watch out for? But there's a handful of players I feel like that need to be looked out for. Now you talk about a lot of the strengths of the team with returning players, depth, if early on you had to identify one hole or a specific area where you need to get better before conference play begins, where would that be? Oh gosh, you're only asking me for one. You know, I'm a coach. I could, I could, I could name more than one. Rattle and, them off. You know, <laughs> I would say something, you know, we continue to preach with, with the team is consistency and, you know, preparing for the game and not your opponent, because obviously throughout the course of the season, you're going to have, you know, those top 25 opponents. You're maybe going to have opponents that might not be in the top 25. And I think our consistency and our preparation and our training attitude is thus far it's really really good but I think that's probably going to be the challenge for our team is can we maintain that day in and, and day out 
with that, has someone emerged as a leader that you might not have expected of someone who's really rallying the team, getting everybody to have that high energy before training and really locking in before matches? You know, I would probably just have to give credit to our senior class. You know, last year we didn't start off the season uh, on the best note, we ended up playing and losing in the conference championship, but we did get better every game. We got some players back that our senior class last year was one of the most enjoyable years in the program, you know, for our coaching staff, just because of the character of the individuals on the team. And our senior class, I could probably have rattled a few of them off, you know, Kate Raffensperger's in that class, Brooke Wilson, Shay Douglas, Jordan Kranz, Savannah Singleton, Hallie Bergford. We, I'm probably, I know I'm missing a handful of players, but their team first attitude and their selflessness and their ability to show up and give everything they have at practice is, it's pretty special. Uh, Seattle has become a special place for you. You played at Seattle, you were inducted into Seattle U's Hall of Fame, and now you're entering your 28th season at the helm of the women's <laughs> soccer program. Oh. What makes Seattle so special and what do you want to get out of this program as you continue to come back year after year and get Seattle U better? You know, it Seattle is a special place and I think Seattle University will always have a really special place in in my heart. Uh, I absolutely love working there. I love the people I work with. I love the environment. And I've always said it's just a, a university where I feel very well supported. And I feel like my program is very well supported. And so many, you know, it, it's a place where the mission and the values of the university really align with those of I, I think I hold dear to my heart and I think that their values and characteristics that are important to the program. So it's just been a really, really great fit. And I always feel Seattle University uh, attracts a special type of student athlete and their student athletes are young women that I absolutely have, have loved work, working with, you know, day in and day out over, uh, you said it over the course of the past 28 years. <laughs> I started coaching when I was 10. <laughs> exactly exactly <laughs> yeah Seattle is absolutely beautiful we had the wax softball tournament there no rain perfect sunny skies it was awesome now one of the other things that I noted when I was looking you up you is you and your husband and your four children all have names starting with J so you guys are running <laughs> six J squad deep what uh you know, what was, what went into making those names? And did you know all along that you wanted to have just all J's consistently? <laughs> I did not know that, you know, I, I obviously, I think my first, my daughter, it was sort of random. And then the second one, I realized, wow, if I'm done here, it would be interesting to have three J's and then not a J. And then I got stuck in that pattern as I had child after child. So <laughs> that's how they got stuck with the J names. <laughs> very awesome. Very unique. And now looking ahead, you host Hawaii and Oregon state this weekend. What do you want to see from your team during those two matches? Gosh, I, I would say coming off, you know, the, the road trip that we had, we played two very good teams. And I would say, you know, I, not in difficult elements, but the, the travel was hard. It was very warm for both of those games. And I would say just continuing to get better each game, I would say um, the consistency piece, you know, we have to, you have to take it one, one game at a time because we, we really need to look at what's right in front of us. Don't look too far ahead. Don't look, you know, in, in the, I guess, backwards and, and sit on the accomplishments of last week. And so I'd really, really would hope that we show up ready to play and we're focused solely on our Thursday night game. Um, but I obviously would love to have another consistent weekend where we come out of the weekend with two victories. Well, coach, we want to wish you the best of luck this weekend. And thank you for sharing some insight on your team. You can catch these games on ESPN plus and the schedules on waxports.com for the WAC report. I'm Heather Shield.